So welcome to KDE Plasma 6.2 Beta. I got suckered into this. And there's a lot of things that have changed, and I don't know how many of them I'm going to find, because again, some are for digital artists. Uh, other are for power management. So, you know, per monitor display brightness. I wonder if that's actually a thing that I can do. Oh my god, really? Yeah, you may not know this, but it's actually working. Okay, so there's your first big thing. Per monitor display brightness. Yee. It's good. It works. It functions. It causes OBS to go into a slight lag fest, but besides that, it... Not bad. I mean, again, it's KDE, so UX issues. But other than that, it looks fine enough, right? And so that one works. We're going to skip over the four digital artist things because there's not much I can do. I'll cover that near the end. The ability to override apps that are blocking sleep or screen locking. Isn't that available in power management? So manually block sleep or uh, very nativity, blah, blah. Yeah, so that's fine. It's there. It allows you to do things. We do not have what is required to do the power profile right now, which is a bit disappointing. I can't show you this one, but the battery widget icon now shows a power profile badge to it, which is interesting. So let's try to just a flashbang warning. Okay. So where is the battery icon right there? So this is a performance button right there. Interesting. It's kind of cheesy, but it works. Honestly, I think maybe a simple P or B or S would have been good. The battery monitor widget once again stays visible when the computer is charging. Reconsider hiding the battery applet as soon as the device begins to charge, which is honestly a big plus because that reduces clutter. And as you can see, KDE has the most clutter out of any desktop environment. That's ridiculous. Half of that shouldn't even be shown by default. It should be an option. And meta B shortcut to switch power profiles. So basically, if I had it installed, I could hold down the Windows key and press B and it would switch to performance, balanced or power saving mode, which is nice. Uh, this is for you people who use accessibility, full sticky key support on Wayland. Color blindness filters now appear in accessibility. Okay, so let's see. Uh, color blindness collection, correction. And so, yeah, there's a lot in here. So you can correct your color blindness. Not bad. Good job, KDE and an overhaul UI of accessibility KBM for creator. I don't know what that means, but there's a feature discussion here and uh, it doesn't really show the changes at all, which is a bit disappointing, but this is the first time I ever seen them actually test anything beyond like a week or a day. That's pretty good. Discover and system updating. No, no, look, no. We're not going over this. Do not use Discover to install things. Use Warehouse. It's a flat hub. It will update and install flat packs. It's the only real good use for Discover. As for system updating, depending on the distro, do it manually. Don't ever trust a Discover to do anything. It has killed multiple systems. Don't do it. It doesn't know what it's doing. It's not going to know what it's doing. Just drop it, erase it, forget it exists. Okay? Oh, yeah. Now, I've already went over the accessibility, the weather widget. Oof. Yeah, I like weather widgets. I do. I really do. Weather widgets are very useful to me. We're going to just switch this to small so I can get everything in here. We're going to go to entities, weather report, always shown, apply, okay. Is this it right here? No. Where is it? Where did it go? It's right here. And it doesn't work. Yeah, see, I would have to reboot for that to work. Going over this anyway, night forecast for NOA weather provider, done. Now shows feels like temperature for providers. Thank you. Uh, more information for BBC weather forecasts and more information for providers only as... I caught that while recording. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Send automatic report. Automatically report crashes. Done. Thank you. 
All right, input device configurations. So support for turning on auto scrolling feature in LibDriver. Can we just like, can we get the option that Windows has so that when we click uh, the scroll wheel, it automatically just starts scrolling? Please, that would be great. And option to disable smooth scrolling in KDE apps. I doubt you. This is a KDE app configure. And I think it would be configure toolbars. Would it? No. Okay. Show panels. Configure dolphin. Uh, let's try to find some smooth scrolling. Smooth scrolling. Nope. Let's try in here. I don't see anything related to smooth scrolling. If I miss it, let me know in the comments. Interesting. So many options that nobody's really ever going to use. Yeah, no, there's not really anything here. So maybe it's in another app. Maybe it's in Kate. So we have the option to disable smooth scrolling from within here. Settings, configure, Kate, appearance. No, I don't see it. No, I don't think they've implemented this in all yet but maybe some and i'm just not being able to find it i'm trying to do the best that i can to get you guys uh some content here and some other things so you know if i can't find something i can't find it and let's try smooth and no the search button doesn't always work but i'm going to say this one thing i like this background this is classic kde right here branching on new i like it so networking support for enhanced open Wi-Fi security. So OWE is now supported. Support for web auth for SAML based networks auth authentication. It's great. There's a feature discussed for this, but I'm sure if I do this, oh no, there it actually is. Look at that. Well, it's in there now, <clears throat> which is really good uh ui design let's just move on to ui design accent color has now been fixed so if we go to what um sort of theming section still colors and themes colors accent color apply yeah it seems to be now applied properly which is great because before in the dark theme it would not work for some people because believe it or not, this does have bugs and it does have issues even in its most stable form. Better layout for system tray expanded view. That is a better layout. Overhauled widget UI explorer. Okay, so we would have to... Oh god, I'm scared to death. They overhauled the widget explorer UX. I had to stop recording there temporarily so that... In case this causes an issue. Oh, there's just an add and manage. Well, ain't that a fancy pants? Oh, look, there's actual space between the icons. That actually looks a lot cleaner. I like it. And the window's right here for you to drag and drop onto. Nice. Hey, see that? They're learning how to fix UI issues. Wow, I'm actually impressed. The Meta V pop-up now use the same UI as the Plasma widget. So uh, if we did a copy, it does. Okay, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It, like there's everything that's there. That's awesome. See, they can get things right once in a while. It just takes a miracle or two. Redesigned the keyboard KCM. <clears throat> what does that mean? Does that mean they went and modernized where you deal with your keyboard? Because if so, I'm intrigued. Keyboard? Where do we deal with our keyboard? That's accessibility. Here we go. I don't notice a difference. It still looks like every other OS. Maybe it's just me. Modernize the Thunderbolt. So is there Thunderbolt in here? I don't have Thunderbolt, so there's nothing I can do in here. Sorry about that. Uh, but <clears throat> let's check feature discussion. All right, so use the same open with dialog everywhere. More rich visualizations of Plasma features in the welcome center. 
simple by default, which is not true because it doesn't look anything like this by default. It looks like this. And again, it's kind of cool. K runner activities, faults, stay away from discovers what it should say. Uh, interesting. By the way, yes, they do have the ability to share anonymous usage information. They've added the ability for uh, tracking or what do you call it telemetry, but it's off by default. So it's up to you whether you're going to turn it on or not and, you know, help them improve this a little bit better. I know it's a sore term, uh, a sore like conversation for most people, but hey, if you want to help, feel free to help. So this is what you get with detailed system information, usage statistics. Yeah, there's not really much going on here. So yeah, I'm fine with that and finish. So they did indeed make that a lot better. Connecting or disconnecting a screen now plays a sound. I don't believe you. Let's try. Wait, I better check to make sure my audio is actually being recorded for this. Properties. Yes, it is. Good. We're going to crank the sound. You ready? So I turned off my left monitor. I turned on my left monitor and there was no sound. None whatsoever. But it did screw up my display. So now I'm going to have to fix that, uh, which is unfortunate because if I go this way, it goes to that one. So this and this switch sides. There we go. Fixed. It did not just, it did not make a sound. It is very, very unfortunate, but I believe them when they say that they did this. Uh, removed Kwin Morphin prop ups because it was unfixably buggy. By default, you can now drag br a breeze themed windows only from header area, not from anywhere. Okay, so. Yeah, that's that's actually a thing now. Good. All right, miscellaneous options to disable Windows outlines and paper widget. Minimize all widget now has all minimized options currently virtual desktop and activity. So what if I hold down? No. No. I don't know how to make that work. I would probably have to have a secondary workspace for that inside of the pager widget. Integrated copy tool when setting your user avatar. Cropping tool. Oh, they added a cropping tool. Holy crap. Uh, user account. Users. Choose a file. Okay. Oh, wow. So they did indeed add a cropping tool. But why is it circular? I like it. It's interesting. But why is it circular? Freaky. Well, there you go. That's pretty cool. And by the way this totally moved to positions and I didn't realize it there done. So that's back to normal. Now that didn't crash or freeze. That's also surprising ability to name your custom shortcuts. Okay. Create link to an application. Da Vinci Da Vinci resolve 19.01. And then we can just choose the program. So if I wanted to, I could head to internal device. Well, not home, but uh, in here. And we would go into opt and resolve bin resolve. And of course, let's choose resolve and hit okay. Oh, I'm trying to find out where that went. One second. This messed up. Yeah. Oh, oh, I lost all of my header from doing that. <sighs> of course I did. Well, other than that, it is having some bugs and some issues. That's for sure. It seems to be running just fine. You know, I will do an update video on whether it's extremely buggy or not, which most people are going to hate because I can find bugs like nobody else. And I'll also do a final video, I guess, on its end result to see if it stayed 
as buggy as the previous video. So if you look forward to that, subscribe, like the video, share the video. I was hoping for a lot more, but one day hopefully this will be dealt with and this will be fixed. But I like the fact that it says wallpaper and themes and the buttons are more displayed properly. It's nice for people with accessibility issues. Very nice. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video, and I'll see you guys next time.